we're looking at uh, tech stocks. Yeah, you know, in China, they've just been getting over uh, their biggest stock market crash on their markets uh, just the past few weeks. But tech stocks, they're big in the U.S. And it's for very different reasons that's going on between these two countries. Now, I want to point out Google. Uh, they just had their stock surge Friday 16%. It was the biggest uh, one-day uh, added value to any company on uh, record. It went up uh, 65.1 billion dollars. You know, with their uh, earnings, the very positive earnings. We also got to see uh, Facebook. Their stocks have gone up 4.5 percent in the uh, last little while. Uh, there's also a surge uh, for Netflix, went up 16%. And so this means all the uh, investors there have their eyes on the ball when it comes to the other big tech companies that are releasing numbers this week. Uh, IBM, they're releasing numbers uh, later today. We're expecting growth there, as well as with Microsoft, uh, Yahoo, and of course the big one, Apple. Um, Apple, uh, we're expecting perhaps up to 40% growth there. And of course, you can look at uh, the sales for iPhones, but people are a little bit wary because, you know, the Apple Watch has hasn't blown markets off the way a lot of people thought it could. Here's the big difference between uh, what's going on in China and maybe the uh, the tech bubble that uh, burst, you know, back in the 90s. Is that all these surges in the stock prices? They're being underpinned by the actual earnings. It's not based on speculation, and that's what we're seeing back over in China as well as what was happening with the uh, the tech boom of the 1990s. So this is actually some actual like uh, values, actual substance behind these uh, tech surges that's going on right now. And mm -hmm. obviously US, U.S. investors are eager to invest in tech. Okay, thanks very much, Tyler.